Well, it's been a point of controversy now for more than a decade. A researcher now from the University of Alaska Fairbanks is weighing in. World Trade Center Building 7 was not struck by a plane, but did collapse hours after the Twin Towers. Well, now the Dr. Leroy Holsey, a civil engineering professor at UAF, he led a four-year study which reevaluates whether Building 7's collapse could have been caused by fire, as was determined by the National Institute for Standards and Technology in 2008. Holsey says his findings were a resounding no, and his simulations paint a different picture than the federal agencies. And so we virtually simulated the building, um, and then and we looked at that analysis, and we also virtually uh, simulated what they did. We couldn't get it to do what they were at. They they did. A group called Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth paid for the study. The organization is petitioning Congress to call for a new investigation into the World Trade Center destruction. A spokesperson for the organization says one of its supporters approached Dr. Halsey about the research, partly because of UAF's reputation. When we started talking to Dr. Halsey, it became very clear that, um, you know, the engineering program at University of Alaska Fairbanks was very strong. Uh, and Dr. Halsey was the chair of the department, and he had a lot of experience in modeling structures and doing forensic investigations, and so we thought it was a perfect opportunity for us to move forward. The study is now open for a two-month public comment period. We'll post a link to the report on our website at ktba.com.